Yo, what's up there guys, it's Massive Game 83 and thank you very much for stopping by. I do apologise, it's been a long time since I've been able to jump in and make some videos. I've had some issues, those have all resolved now, so I should be making some more videos soon. And uh, without further ado, today I want to talk about asset creation for video games. So making game objects, textures and, and being able to import them into, into uh, your own software, but actually creating the assets in VR. So the two pieces of software today in question, the first one's going to be called Gravity Sketch and that's available on Steam for around about 23 Great British Pounds. There is a, a higher tier model with a subscription pace as well. Uh, this, is, this sells itself as a pro professional grade software. That's not what I'm looking at today. I'm a hobbyist, I'm an enthusiast, I'm not going to be using it for that. I'm going to be using it for attempting to make some game assets for Modbox VR so I can import them and build my own levels utilising Modbox. Um, another, uh, the secondary piece of software which I've also looked at, I have looked at a fair few but these two are the ones that shine out to me at the moment. Um, it's actually using Revive so that's probably going to be uh, you know, a no-go for some of the users that use the uh, HTC Vive, as I'm going to be using. If you own the Oculus Touch, Oculus Medium is free. As long as you've got a legitimate purchase of Touch, you should be able to access Oculus Medium without charge. If, like me, you don't, then again, it's a £23 purchase. And uh, I, did some, I did some investigations. I've tried Masterpiece VR as well, but so far, Gravity Sketch, as well as Oculus Medium, using in conjunction seems to be like a really good workflow for me for asset creation because you can actually paint the assets in Oculus uh, Oculus Medium. So it's a really, really powerful tool. You can see some crazy work going on um, from the users and, and they're posting it online. So without further ado, I'm gonna be jumping in and showing you uh, what I've worked on so far uh, using both pieces of software and also what I hope to achieve using them further down the line Okay, then guys, so here we are inside gravity sketch uh, This is not going to be a tutorial more of a showcase about my progress so far uh, So I've got a vehicle that I've been working on so far. It is just uh, the skin um, I have made some errors in regards to scale but overall, hopefully you get an idea of the sort of vehicle I'm creating here. So I've gone quite detailed actually on the lines and uh, tried to add the overall shape of uh, my vehicle there. Quite a nice looking car here. Adding all kinds of little sexy details on the back. And this took me quite a, little, quite a bit of time to figure out exactly how uh, how to get this far but even then I'm still learning and there's a lot to lot to do uh, if I just stand up now I should be able to scale the vehicle and work you can work on things real size so all the individual lines on here you can work on them and if you know once you've laid down a line so you've got a load of tools on here so once you've laid down a line like this you can actually like hover that red ball over it select it and you can kind of move it around or while you're holding it you can actually press the the blue button on the left one and that brings up like this mode so you can actually reach in and use your grip button and manipulate the lines you can even decimate the amount of uh, trigger points on here as well which will reduce the amount of uh, points you can maneuver but then this ends up creating really clean lines so once you've decimated it down um, it looks really nice I'm gonna unwind the clock till it goes okay and again you know this can be done with all of the lines all of the everything can be moved and changed individually but there we go all right so it's back so the actual scale of it is uh, 
really nice so once you know once you're creating on this sort of level and you can see how big the car is actually going to be so this is the window this is where the roof starts put my arm on the side here you know this is this is really nice you can kind of get a sense of how big it's going to be so if we put it slam it to the deck you know slam it right down I'm literally going to be sitting down in it like that looking over the small little bit here so you know once you're actually inside you can start adding lines and working out the internals about what what's going to be where and you know you can start off rough and then once you go in you can always start moving pieces around and uh, you know setting things up and but I'm not actually gonna continue doing that just yet uh, I can actually just delete the whole the whole piece and I'm gonna work on that not on this video there's an actual skinning tool this is super impressive and probably one of the best features about this whole thing um, right so this skinning tool requires two hands to actually action it I'm going to change the color to something uh, you know easy to, to differentiate between there we go all right perfect so now everything's lined up we spent a bit of time getting the meshes working I think I've just done something to that so I'm not going to save it yeah I really have There we go. Ah, there we go. Perfect. All right. So now I've got this tool in my hand. I can literally start skinning it piece by piece. So I can reach in with my bendy tool. You can change the angle of the flex as well. So you can start off, and then with holding the other trigger, we can start skinning this piece. boom like that so you can skin it uh, once you reach in click on it and then we can start decimating the, these as well and uh, adjusting these points and clipping them all in very amazing one piece here just so you get the idea of how detailed you can go even though I'm working on a tiny scale you can really get right in there and it's so satisfying And if there's any points that you want to start deleting stuff out, like if you think that's too many points on there, you can always start deleting out individual points as well. So. <laughs> so this is pretty crazy. Very, very crazy actually. Um, you can also decimate the curved stuff as well to reduce the curved surface down. And then, you know, that will... Well, I'll probably go one up actually. There we go, nice. So yeah, that's uh, and you can literally work like that, and uh, <laughs> it's super impressive. Cool. So pretty much there for that piece, but you can go proper deep. Spend a lot of time in there making everything just so and the amount of time that you dedicate to it is literally up to you but I think it it goes as far as you're willing to really so it's, you can mirror that as well um, I should have mirrored it and it would have done that one as well 
that's how I created the symmetry here but yeah so you can skin your whole vehicle look so anyway that's the first little look and my first impressions of gravity sketch so let's jump out of that now I'm not going to save Okay, so as you just saw there, we are in medium, and this is a completely different kettle of fish. Uh, it actually works very well. These are Oculus Touch uh, <laughs> controllers there. However, as I stated earlier, I am still using the the uh, the uh, the HTC Vive controllers, and with this, you can use it to create anything really. It's more uh, I think it's it's better for actually using uh, as like a clay surface so using the grips you can bring it down this is not a tutorial by the way but I'm just highlighting what's possible um, so there's uh, ways to actually mirror as well so you can uh, get a mirror line like we like you could in medium there's your mirror line here and you can see it crossing between so say if you wanted to create a quick head you can literally use the ball and start creating like eye sockets and use it very freely so we can create the basic shape of the head and you can I might make that a bit bigger actually get the jaw line going on Once you've got the basics, you can start smoothing it down. So you just lift up, smooth, make it bigger. But I'm not going to go into all of that. What I'm going to do though, what I will do. Uh, is show you what I've created so far just by using these same techniques um, also another interesting feature about this is kit bashing uh, if you've never heard of kit bashing before very interesting I'll talk about that momentarily okay so what I'm going to do is actually import let's have a look on here all right so file load these are the creations I've made so far. Even my lads made stuff, to be honest. My lads made some stuff. There's some stuff on here from other people. Um, so my boy made made this. Um, this was the first thing that I did. Look, first try. We'll load that up. Okay. So this is the very first creation in here that I ever made. Look. IG83 it's quite detailed look almost caricature-esque but there's uh, different stamps you can use as well so it's not just it's not just clay like it's not just clay you can actually go and uh, choose stamps so in in stamps there's a whole host of different things there's some 
uh, mechanical stamps, there's houseware, and you can just import stuff and piece it together. So, say you want to go mechanical, um, there's a lot of these that I've actually imported as custom stamps. So, let's have a look at this one. So, yeah, that's one that I've imported myself, same as that one. And if I click on that, I can literally use this use these pieces um, make sure I put it on single uh, I can literally import custom OBJ and FBX files and it's very simple to do that as well and you can do kit bashing so you could make a crazy looking robot out of it all you know and piece it together that's pretty much what kit, kit bashing is um, or make a motorbike out of it or you know there's there's a whole host of different things you can you can do uh, and it's relatively easy actually so if we click on this uh, you've got mechanical so edit this stamp collection um, and then you can add new stamps so on mine you know I went through and I downloaded a whole pack um, of hard surface models pretty interesting like um, so where are we oculus foils Oculus medium custom assets individual objects right mechanical so I made these not enough converted these in blender into individuals like the packs come as one big file but I've individually gone in and you can kind of see them there and they're hard surface so yeah I can import any of them so we'll say that one and if I want that I can just uh, click on that and import it and there it is so yeah very very good it's one of the great features of uh, I'm going to load some of, of the other things as well I wanted to show you something that I've worked on this one's I've actually made an attempt uh, where is it uh, oh there we go lava steps okay all right so this is some lava steps that I was just working on I've kind of just uh, threw it together it's quite organic shapes I've made it like an old sort of you know just literally some old steps where they've got cracks in and I've added lava in there I've just by changing the material values to emissive so this is kind of like a glowy material and then you know literally once you're in there it kind of looks like this material you can paint it up and you can you know choose the color of your paints down here change change it to whatever you want make it fatter um, also once you're in the paint tool uh, you can change the strength down as well and the strength down and it'll you can go really gently it's quite a powerful tool actually you know for gradual or if you press it it's all trigger sensitive as well so if you press it down harder it goes harder but if you just do it a little bit you can gradually get in there swipe it across get rid of it but because you can import assets after I've created something uh, in uh, gravity sketch I can import it in here and actually paint it up Well, that looked pretty cool though actually I can imagine like a little dude on there you know you can change the light in as well I've not really worked out too much about it so far I think it's on here was it light in yeah so shadow maps enabled as well so you can see shadows and that uh, and you can also add a light and you can move it around I think as well so where are we there we go so we can have a different light source uh, you can change the color of the light source as well I don't really know how to do that yet but you know it's pretty cool have it all lit up how you want it and that inspect certain aspects of your, your build you can change the skylights as well uh, let's have a look on here so point you can make the radius different on the light change the brightness of the light set the color on the light so you can make it like 
you know, sunset or whatever. And then, oh, no, there we go, that's the one. So there's the, the sun, sun, sunset going on, sunset light. Uh, you can change the sky as well. So let's have a look on here. I can't remember how to do it, but it's in here somewhere. You get the idea anyway, there's a lot to know, there's a lot to learn and just by playing around with it you can actually throw together something that's alright in quite a short amount of time. We'll go back in here and put this up. So I'm probably going to spend a lot more time on the vehicle that I'm working on. I want to make a decent vehicle to import to Modbox. These are on a separate layer, so even if I sp spray it over that, I shouldn't be able to draw on it yet because I have to do that on a different layer. There we go, look. could spend a long time on that but you know after a quick short few minutes that was thrown together and painted up <laughs> and then I could import that into a game you know and it's took me what a few minutes so there we go so I suppose my final thoughts about this is using both in conjunction for me is going to be really powerful and it gives me an accessible way to actually get in there and do some creation you know and literally start making things that I can import into Modbox and then I can make my own levels look exactly how I want and then play you know create game types and levels and games and everything based on what I can imagine and are they good enough to be professional assets well Oculus Medium was actually used to help prototype Archangel uh, as well as used to prototype uh, Gunhart and these games were you know the workflow was put together inside here I mean you know I can scale this bigger massive now look, imagine you know the scale of that I'm standing inside VR now and I've got to go up there and then maybe there's a there's a, a castle through the tunnel or something like that you know and I've got to watch out and watch my step because I don't want to fall in the lava you know hopefully you found this video informative um, I'm not trying to you know promote any of these this is not this is not a, a paid video this is just my opinions and you know your opinion and your mileage may vary so hopefully you enjoyed this video it's been good to jump back in and uh, hopefully I'll be pumping out some more of these soon and creating some more assets for you to you know have a look at and you can always let me know what you think. Uh, it also raises the question whether uh, software that's available to utilize in VR like this is going to be accessible enough for people like me who don't really understand uh, Maya or ZBrush or uh, some people call it ZBrush I don't know what the right name is for it um, and you know th that that seems very a complicated way uh, it doesn't really seem intuitive for me but you know I know it's a very high grade tool that people use but this seems very accessible you're using your hands you, you, you in real time and space you're shaping and it's it's pretty powerful it's pretty powerful I mean I, I, if you check out these all created in uh, gravity sketch pretty impressive they've imported it into another engine to show you what it looks like in game um, and then also you know this one was created in, in oculus medium and they're completely used in virtual reality uh, very exciting to see the f where the future goes and whether people like me could get into asset creation okay so that was a look at gravity sketch as well as oculus medium and the potential uses for both applications i hope you found this interesting i hope you found this informative